Welcome back to the St. John Armory, fellow modelers. Our Atlantis Silver Knight of Augsburg is complete. I gotta say, this is a fun kit to build. Real easy. Great for a beginner. And a fairly easy paint job. Well, depending on what you want to do with it. If you're a, one of those master painters, it's a complete blank canvas. A lot of room to work if you're an expert detail painter, which I'm not. But really enjoyed this kit. And let's get a close-up of it. I mean, I, I can't be I can't be with the way this turned out. I've had a run of bad luck with some of the automotive kits with issues with the kit itself and gets kind of frustrating after a while. But no such problems with this one. Nicely detailed. You know, plenty to work with. I chose to dry brush it, dry brush it with, which brings out the detail in the kit. And I really enjoyed it. Absolutely love this kit. Now for the base, I tried a it is weird technique I came up with. I painted a tester's tan out of the bottle, then worked in a water-based uh, wash an old Citadel Colors wash, and I worked that into the tester's tan before it dried, and it comes out with a really cool, you know, simulated wood finish. Really enjoy that. I'm just neat technique. I don't know why it works, but it does. Kind of hard to. Uh, show you this thing it's tall one thing I like about the kit the functional visor and the sword just in there loosely so you can change the position which is nice I think I like this one the best myself super cool kit I mean oh so nice to have a Kit come together rather flawlessly. No problems with the paint job. Man, just what a what a treat. Get a close up of the guy's face. Most of it, his head is not visible with the helmet. The helmet, you could you don't have to glue the helmet on. You know, you could I, I glued it on, but you could leave it removable. But this is tough getting in there. This is weird. This is definitely diff more difficult than doing a car video. But you, the helmet you could leave removable. It's in halves. I think that's how they worked. Let's get some more close ups of this. If you got this kit or you intend on getting it, I highly recommend putting the belt on and attaching the scabbard before you put the arms on because they will get in the way. And the only minor gripe I have with this kit is that the there's not a lot of contact area to put the arms on and you got to do a little carving to get them in there. You know, I highly recommend before painting, you know, tape up the bottom of the shoulder and where the arm and the shoulder is going to make contact, keep it clear of paint. And even then you wouldn't have a lot of contact. What I wound up doing was uh, filling the shoulders with hot glue and then putting the arm in place and working it into position to be able to hold the sword. But that's like the only issue, and, and it's a minor issue, but it's the only issue I got with the kit. But it's, you know, it's easily overcome. Keep the uh, contact areas clear of paint. 
and she, you know it, it, it'll help and before you get the painting the feet attached to the base and uh, and you gotta position the, position the feet on the base and then attach the rest of the body at the knee because if you just glue the, the right lower leg on where it's supposed to be it won't line up with the base again not a major issue but very cool kit uh, love it absolutely love this kit I'd love to build another one I only found two other reviews of this kit on YouTube one of them is by Plastic Imagination Workshop and the other is by BMCK I'm going to put links in the description so you guys can check those out. And uh, all three are, mine's somewhere in between, the other two. But, you know, the other two, very nice, very nice, very well done. Uh, I, I use those videos as research and thoroughly enjoy watching them, so I'm going to put them links in so you guys can see them too. Uh, not much more to say about it. It was a, it was a great kit. Highly recommend it if you want to do something different. Easy build. Great for beginners. Going right in that playlist. And with that, you guys have a good one. I am out of here. No idea what I'm building next, but guaranteed to be something cool. Adios.